good evening and welcome to our live crafting this evening. My name's Jenny McCormack and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator. I'm based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire, here in the UK. And coming from a somewhat blustery evening this evening, we have um, Storm Kieran going through and um, hopefully that's the worst that we've seen of it for the moment. I know it's been very bad down on the south coast and the southwest coast and it's heading up through and across to the north and the east. So I hope everybody um, stays safe and well and um, hopefully you won't have to go out this evening. You can stay in fingers crossed in the warm and the dry. So let us continue on with our stamp set of the week. This was the card that we made on Monday. I think it was this one or it was one very similar <laughs> she says. Let's find my other sample. But it's one of the other. Hmm I think it was this one because I added the bird I'm pretty sure so um, here we have so this is from the festive and fun stamp set and this features the giraffe and the Christmas tree it also features the rhino with the sleigh the presents and the little birds perched on top hopefully you can see that okay and then it also has this fun mousse with a Christmas pudding. You can see there. And I was wondering actually whether that Christmas pudding should have... Um, I've left it white on the top, but it should be sort of yellow for custard, shouldn't it, maybe? I don't know. Not that you should can see it particularly well on there. So I thought what I would do is combine some of these together so i'm going to have the mousse but i'm also going to pick out the christmas trees from the giraffe and the christmas trees so let's give this a go this is the stamp set so it has some nice sentiments as well this one's nice may your season be one that's festive and fun we also have the little beaver character as well and happy Christmas wishes as well as a little something for you with lots of love from me and that's perfect on a tag so you could have the moose with that little sentiment underneath on a tag that would look very cute and we've also got that little bird as well hi Fran I hope you're keeping well so let's grab the moose and then we want the giraffe and the tree and what I'm going to do is um, stamp those but fussy cut the tree out so let's stamp that one first let's grab the block I had a little play with the baubles not the baubles the light bulbs last night from this fun stamp set so I've been using all of these um, sentiments but I haven't actually stamped up the light bulbs but um, that's really cute I rather like that I was just having a play last night after I tidied up so I have to do some more of those so let's just grab this this is just an off cut of basic white let's put that down there and I'm going to use pebbled path um, my go-to would be Pebbled Path or Early Espresso or Basic Grey. This is just a sort of in between actually, Basic Grey and Early Espresso. So I'm just going to stamp that. And it's only really the tree I want, so what I'm going to do is just pop that on there. And then I might stamp one on the other side as well. Hi Nicole, welcome again. Thank you for joining us a second time. 
I hope you have had a good week. So I'm just going to pop this tree on there again. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to um, include the pot when I cut this out. We'll have a look and see. And so what I'm going to do is colour this in and cut it out. And my plan is to use this card. So I have got a scallop. Piece, but this is just slightly bigger than that one. It's the deckled edged from the deckled edge rectangles. And <laughs> yes, you like the giraffe, didn't you, Nicole? Sadly, the giraffe's going to be chopped off. Um, so what I'm going to do is pop my moose on there and then have some Christmas trees next to him. So let's grab that, just get all the stamping done. I haven't quite decided what sentiment and where. Let's pop him on first. So just ink this one up. So this is pebbled path ink that I'm using. Uh, let's just pop him on, or her, on here, like so. There he is. Cute. Okay, just going to let that dry. So, I'm just going to colour in the Christmas trees for a second. So, I've got, what have I got? Light and dark granny apple green pens. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to do this in a huge amount of detail as you will see, but I'm just going to do along those edges again where those lines are and a bit around the edge there like so. And the nice thing is if you're cutting this out, you don't have to worry going outside the lines because you can cut it quite close to the edge. So what I'm actually going to do is literally go around the baubles like so and then just go over the rest because I'm going to cut this one out. I'm going to take my glasses off so that I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so there's the bottom of that. Just going around the baubles. Hi Nick, I was live, that's why I hadn't responded to your last message. <laughs> Lovely to have you join us anyway. Nick is one of our lovely demonstrators in Ireland. She's one of our team. Okay. So if you know anybody in Ireland who's looking for stamping up supplies, Nick's your person. Okay, so I'm just going over there. I'm not worrying too much about the detail of that tree so you can easily go over the edges and not worry about it let's just pop a couple of baubles on let's do a red one down here and up here and then this is dark lemon lolly but you could use I um, mean obviously you could use any color daffodil or you could use blue if you wanted. Okay, so that's my tree. And then I'm just going to do the trunk. I've got the right word this time round. Couldn't think of the word on Monday morning. Just going to do that. 
a little bit of shading at the bottom and I'm just going to do a red pot with a yellow ribbon this is quite a small area so I'm really not worrying about any extra shading because it's so small hello Brenda I hope you're feeling okay saw that you've collected your class box alright so there's our tree so we're going to cut that out okay let's just colour in our fun little moose now on my sample here I gave him a green jumper I think I'm going to give this one a nice red jumper and let's find do with a little bit of pink for the cheeks as well so let's do the jumper while I find that so this is dark poppy parade that I'm going to use for the collar here and also the bottom here where the rib would be of the jumper like that a little bit of shading maybe here and here and then I'm just going to use the light to fill in this is light poppy parade so just blending that down I love the coverage you get with these pens I was, I was thinking to myself, if the plural of goose is geese, the plural of moose should be meese. But it isn't, is it? Okay. Not quite, quite work out what is going on with these tiny little pieces here. Okay, oh, there's a little tail there too. Let's do a red dot for the holly berry, like so. And we've got Christmas pudding colours. So do you think I should leave the top bit white? Or do you think I should make it a yellow like... Um, what do you call it? Cust custard. Couldn't think of the word then. Okay, let's do his antlers in this nice brown. This is bronze, really nice deep brown. It's like a dark soft suede if you remember soft suede. There we go. So I'm keeping it Friday. I woke up this morning in a bit of a panic because I thought I haven't prepared our coffee and card for this afternoon. It took me a while to realise it was only Thursday and I prepare my coffee and card Thursday night ready for Friday. Deary me. Right, I just want a little bit of pink for the cheeks. So I've got light flirty flamingo that although it's a retired color um, if I still got the pen I can use it alternatively bubble bath would do a little bit of pink in the ears and then I'll lift this up so you can see it that's it so far morning Kerry I hope you're well. Um, right, light crumb cake, a little bit of dark crumb cake for our mousse himself. So let's just do a little bit dark here. Like that. 
with some dark hooves, although quite how he's carrying a plate of um, Christmas filling, I don't know. But then how many um, how many mooses have you seen wearing Christmas jumpers? Or even a jumper? Right, okay. This is the body. Nice and easy. Straight down there with light crumb cake. A little bit for the tail. A little bit of blending in where that joins. And the same for the head. So far, hope you can see that all right. Bring it up a little bit, and let's see a little bit of green for the holly leaves. So I'm just using the fine tip for this, the bullet tip. Like so, and let's use crumb cake for the plate. So I'm leaving this white at the minute, unless anybody else thinks that should be yellow for custard. Okay, so now I've got my Christmas tree that I stamped. So this had the giraffe attached, so I'm going to detach it from the giraffe. And then just have the trees here. So I'm just going to cut this. Get rid of the excess like so and then what I like to do where I've got this sort of shape is cut all in the same direction first so I'm going to cut that um, shape then this one then this one so if you can see that I'm doing all of those in that direction first rather than going all the way around in and out. But if anybody else does this this way, I just find it a lot easier. And then you can come back in in the other direction. Like so. I just find it's nicer than trying to get into all of those corners in a particular direction. Like so, if you can see that. Just do that one there. Okay, so you get quite a nice edge. You don't get that sort of gap in the middle. So I'm going to do the same on this side. Cut. Let's get rid of this excess. Sorry, giraffe. That one. That one. And I am right handed, so if you're left handed, you might do it, start the other way around. Okay. Last little bit. Sorry, it's really monotonous watching somebody fussy cut, isn't it? Okay, straight down this tree trunk here to the bottom. Same here. Cut the edge off and then a bit that one's already cut and then very carefully this last bit There we go. 
and get rid of this excess here. Okay, so I've got my mousse. <laughs> yes, custard would get messy on the mousse indeed. Okay, so I have got my tree here. And to save time, I've done some other ones already. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is sort of just mount these up together. So, maybe do those two and then one on top. Like so. Now, I wasn't sure whether to leave the pots, and I think I will. Because otherwise, the mousse will be, if I cut the pots off, the mousse will be bigger than the tree, which is not ideal. So, um, but I have got space for a sentiment, so I could put my happy Christmas wishes across the top. What I'm going to do is do a little bit of blending with the blending brush and some ink to create some background. So let's do that first. Let's pop him on there. I could put another tree there, we'll see. So let's grab a blending brush. I've got not much on this blue. Let's grab a little bit of blue ink. A little bit of balmy blue. I'm going to do this first and then stamp the sentiments because if the sentiment isn't dry and I do this you can um, blend the sentiment out if you're not careful okay so just going to come in from the edge down the top In from the side and I'm deliberately going to leave some white space to make it look like it's um, cloudy sky hopefully you can see that okay I just lift that up hopefully you can see it Can bring that round my mousse with the Christmas pudding and bring some more in here behind the trees. There we go. So it's the second of November. Let's just add a little bit more. There we go. So I've got a nice light sky behind my reindeer. You could leave that um, white for snow, and in fact, I could do a sort of border for snow across the bottom but I think what I'm going to do is just do some green across the bottom hope you're feeling okay Brenda okay uh, it turns out blotchy so the secret to that really is to make sure you've got plenty of ink on here um, and try and use maybe a circular motion like that on your ink pad and then a circular motion on here what often happens is if you press just like that and there's not enough ink on here you just get ink on the top of the bristles and then of course I can't do it because this has got a fair bit of ink on it and then you get that sort of blotchiness and also um, you can come in using the side of the brush rather than the top of the brush come in using the side 
and just use quite a bit of pressure and um, less is always more because you can add it but you can't take it away but it is just practice okay so there's my blue and I think I'm going to add a little bit of green for the ground I could use um, brown and I can just blend that in or you can use a torn piece of paper if you wanted a defined line but I'm happy just blending that in so you can see I've not added ink on but there's sufficient ink in the brush now I do use mine a lot to be fair so there's always ink on them okay and then just because there's not much ink in between you can just blend them together and even just going over that character it won't matter there we go oh great I'm glad to hear there we go so then we've got our mousse with our background hopefully you can see that um, green as well So this will have a mix of creams on it so it looks like probably granny apple and or old olive there we go okay now I've got my I've got four trees to play with so I'm going to stamp my sentiment let's just see where these trees are going to fit so I could do three like that could put part of a fourth one there or have part of a fourth one going off there or just leave it as three three looks about right doesn't it let's pop our sentiment across the top um, I think just that sentiment from the set happy Christmas wishes and what I like about this one is that you can cut it down or mask it off so that you've got happy Christmas or Christmas wishes or the whole thing so I think I'm going to end up putting these right on the bottom and that will then fit hopefully on the top of there two on one side and one behind the moose like so and so that would also work I should have done my moose a little bit further over would have been better wouldn't it so let me know what you think three and one two and one or just three let's put our sentiment on while we're deliberating on that so what I'm going to do is um, always check where the rubber image is especially for sentiments compared to the piece of rubber so this is actually cut very close at the top and deeper at the bottom but the image on the label as I put it on is about in the middle so if I was stamping this thinking that was the middle um, it's actually higher than that and if you can see I don't know how obvious that is from where you're from where you're looking so there's more rubber at the bottom there is at the top so what I always recommend doing unless it's photopolymer and you can see clearly where it's going to stamp two on one side one behind and when you put one on top of two oh i see <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my grid paper line up the bottom of my stamp with one of the lines on the grid paper doesn't matter which one and that tells me that that's pretty straight on the block 
and it shows me how far up from the bottom so it's slightly higher than that so and if I make a mess of this I'll stamp it and put it on a piece on the top <laughs> so actually I know it's fairly central so what I'm going to do is stamp it oh that was a bit close to the top wasn't it eek <laughs> I thought I had a little bit more space but hey ho still works right let's put these down then and I think what I'm going to do is maybe put this on a layer of poppy So these are basically the same. I certainly like the three, two with one on top. So what I'm going to do is put those on flat, if I can find a working glue. Let's have a look, see. Yes. My working glue's a patch for coffee card. Right, here we go. Just a tiny bit, a bit on the bottom. Okay, so just position that really lightly in case I need to move it. A little bit on there, tiniest bit on the stalk. And then I'm just going to allow a little bit of a gap between the two. There we go. So that I can put my other one on the top. And that's going to go on with some dimensionals. And I'm not going to put anything on the stalk. I'm just going to support it with these ones. Three. Like so. Just peel those off. One, two, three, four. Careful not to break it. And then let's put this one in between. Next, and I could do. I could have done the um, baubles in different colours on the trees if I wanted to. I think that's rather cute. Like so. And then I can add to that some Wink of Stella if I wanted to on the icing, assuming it's not custard. could make it four, I suppose. Oh no, it's a bit too close now, isn't it? So. Did we want one behind? What do we think? Hi Nicole, you can order the stamps through me online. If you go to GeminiCraft.co.uk, um, because you're in the Netherlands, I seem to remember, you can order in euros to have them delivered to the Netherlands. And this set of stamps is called Festive of Fun. I'll happily pop a catalogue in the post if you want to see all of those. And that also has everything else. <laughs> so um, we have a Christmas catalogue with all our Christmas stamps. But we also have extra ones um, and an annual catalogue. Shall I put that one on the end behind him? Do you think? I think I will. Otherwise it will go to waste. I don't want to pop it on the envelope because it might um, come off. So what I'm going to do is 
I'll um, happily send you a link. I'll um, message you a link afterwards, Nicole, if you'd like me to. So I'm just going to put this here. And if you order my stamp set of the week, which is this particular one, then I send you the cards and the envelopes and everything to make the cards up. So let's just put this. I definitely want the stalk on there like so maybe move it a tiny bit in there we go whoops got a wonky pot there we go and now what I'm going to do is just trim that off and obviously I've got this deckled edge so I'm just going to follow the edge of the paper I hope it doesn't look too odd. <laughs> there we go. So we've got our fun moose and our trees. And I have to say a big thank you actually to the people at Coffee and Card on Tuesday. In particular to um, Grace, I think it was. Yes, it was Grace. And also... trying to think who else it was that did something with the trees that gave me the idea oh my mind's gone completely blank right let's grab a background for that while I think of the name let me see so this is Poppy Parade so that would make a nice backing I think wouldn't it onto the card Alternatively, I could use the olive, but I think that's too much green with the trees. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Olive or poppy? Well, I have a sip of my cold drink. really thirsty poppy or olive <laughs> make one of each thanks Nicole, Nicola <laughs> I think the olive as well actually normally I would go with the red but yeah I agree with you folks that's always good. I think I need to cut this to size. So, Nicole, if you send me a message, you can send it to Gemini Crafts or Jenny McCormack with your address. I can send you a printed catalogue. And there are some Dutch stamp sets as well. So some of these stamp sets are available in Dutch. as well as English, French and German. Okay, oh thanks Brenda. We're all in, all in agreement. That is always good, isn't it? Okay, so I've got a white card base ready. Like so. So that's going to be my layer there. So this measures 10 centimetres by 14.35 this olive layer and then this layer is cut out using our deckled rectangles there's one that's larger than that but I wanted a nice sort of border all the way around so let's put these layers together and we're done so I can put Christmas sentiment on the inside On there like that okay. 
and then that on top and I'm going to put that I think I'm going to put this flat because it's only our thin white card I don't want it sort of sagging in the middle so I'm going to put this flat on to the card you could put it on with dimensionals if you wanted with our foam pads it's up to you There we go. So it's definitely a bit, little bit too high on my stamping of my sentiment. Even after I said allow for that space at the top. But I think I've got away with it. I could stamp it onto a piece of card and layer that further down, for example. So I could have it a little bit further down. But actually there's not much to play with, is there? And you can add some bling to that you could let's see what I've got just to hand I've got some gold oops uh, let's see what else I've got what I've got in the red I've got some small red dots they're a bit too small I've got these ones they're a bit too big and I must just share these with you because these are coming out next week. Um, sorry about the glare. Dragonflies and birds. There's two different kinds of flying birds in there. And those cute dragonflies. And they're really flat so they're perfect for card making. I'm going to put some gold ones on. Just because gold is what I have to hand. And if I find some red ones after I'll apply those. Just looking for my pokey tool, which you can't see, so I'll just use my scissors and let's have a look which size. There we go. I'm just going to put them onto what be the yellow ones. One, two, maybe that one down there. Three. Now I've done that, I'm going to have to do them all. I've decided. <laughs> Why not? There we go. I've got to look for red ones now, really, haven't I? Hey-ho. It will do. The little red disc ones would look nice, actually. There we go. There we are. I must have coloured those, all of those the same way. That's really weird, isn't it? Except this one. What I should have done was put this one on here. Never mind. There we go. Oh, uh, that is a very good question. And um, yes, <laughs> you can without a credit card. Um, let me message you directly because I know it's different for you in um, in Holland. So let me message you directly with the link and you'll see how you can pay. Um, but yes, it's no problem to pay without a credit card. OK, so thank you, everybody. I hope you like our fun little moose. For those that missed the um, beginning, I had a little play last night with this fun. These are huge, these light bulbs just huge I mean they're as big as that moose um, and this is from the set that I've been using with the sentiments and all these ones here and I suddenly thought I just haven't used these light bulbs so last night after I had a nice tidy desk getting everything done and out of the way I thought I'd have a little play and so <laughs> that's what I did with the the string so just a little bit of fun 
thank you Kerry yes I've missed seeing you for a little while so there we are I hope you like our fun little moose Christmas card as I said I know the plural of moose is moose but um, you know it really should be meese shouldn't it goose and geese <laughs> let me just see this is pink really doesn't go but I quite like the idea of the same size blue I know I've coloured it in red but you know what I'm just going to put these on let's, have, let's put one on and see go for it nobody will know that they're red underneath if you're going to bling it you might as well bling it in style <laughs> you're all laughing at me now because it's that it's really overkill isn't it but I don't care There we go <laughs> well blinged thank you Winker Stella oh yes that would be good I could have added Winker Stella and also Winker Stella I'm going to add to the um, icing on the Christmas pudding so thank you so much for joining me for a little bit of fun this Thursday evening um, I have a um, couple of new kits that have arrived and we have a new kit available on the website as well um, so do check those out just go to the website go to geminicrafts.co.uk and then look at the um, shop link and then you can click on there and see all of the kits for example um, so I want to share one of those kits with you so I might try and do that tomorrow if I get the opportunity I'll give you notification if I'm likely to do that. Uh, Nicole, I'll send you some um, information about um, ordering. And um, I look forward to catching up with you all really soon. I've just seen a little star. But I'm not going to risk putting those on the top. You could put them in, the, in between. That's where I put the stars. I knew I'd use them for something recently. And that's on that same merry and bright stamp set look. There's that useful little star. Sometimes the smallest little stamps can be the most useful. Okay, so thank you so much everyone. Have a great evening. And I look forward to crafting with you again real soon. <laughs> Thanks Nicole. Do take care everyone. Bye for now. Brenda, I hope you carry on feeling good. And um, stay safe, everybody, with this wild weather we're having. <laughs> Take care now. <laughs> Bye, and thanks for watching.